In this video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite little defense here that you can use in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. Now, this defense, I actually talked, I've been talking about this since day one of Madden. This defense this year is super, super effective for a million and one different reasons. It's got great pressure, it's got great run defense, it's got great alignment, it's got great personnel. But what we're going to talk about today is a coverage adjustment that you can utilize out of the 335 odd that makes it better than 245 odd because 245 odd does not have the ability uh, to do what I am going to talk about in this video. And that is a very simple coverage adjustment. Like I said, make sure to subscribe. If you want this full defensive ebook, um, join the Patreon. The Patreon is linked in the description. By joining the Patreon, you get access to all of my Madden 22 ebooks. Uh, but if you take a look here at the bottom uh, left-hand corner of the play call menu here, you're going to see that I have the SF, I have a, this little thing here that says packages. If I flick the joystick to the left one time, that's going to bring up the strong safety inside package. And what that does is it puts a safety here at the nickel uh, corner. Okay, and you can feel free to sub him out if you want to, uh, but I don't know. You don't have to. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to come out in the Tampa two. Now, we all know in this year's game that the best coverage defense, especially um, for deep crossing routes and deep corner routes, is the Mabel coverage, and more importantly, the cloud flat zone at 30 yards, okay? So what we're going to do with this is if you take a look here, it gives us these clouds. Now, when we use that strong safety inside adjustment, I want you to notice something. If I were to hot route uh, my safety on the left side, it's now going to bring up several different adjustments that I can have. Uh, typically what I can do is either put him in a curl flat or a deep half or a middle third, but now you see here that I can put him in outside thirds on both sides of the field. So what I could do with this coverage is I could put the safety on the left side in an outside third to the left. I could put the safety on the right side in an outside third to the right. And then I have these two guys right here that are middle linebackers that I can feel free to adjust however I want. So um, I can feel free to press coverage. Uh, I like to spread my uh, defensive line and defensive linebackers, crash by D-line down. And then let's say I wanted to set up kind of a basic coverage defense here. Well, it's not really that difficult. All I got to do is put that left of screen uh, middle linebacker into that middle third. And then from there, I can just set up these guys on the outsides here in hard flats, whoops, um, I can set these guys here in hard flats, just like this, so I've got a Mabel concept, and then I can bluff blitz one of my defensive linemen so that I have somebody in the underneath middle, and then this do like a send two type of thing out of the 335 odd, and why I like this so much is because what you're going to notice is these outside thirds don't get bombed. In fact, they actually react fairly well to deep crossing routes. So what you can do is you can set your clouds at 30, your curl flats at 10, and then your hook curls at 5, and be able to create one of the better coverages in the game. Now the cool part about this, about all of this, is at the right time, what you could do is you could globally bliss all your linebackers down, and then you can go ahead and still keep those outside thirds. So you see here, uh, we're going to keep the outside third to the left, outside third to the right. We're going to shade our coverage down. And now I'm the guy that's the middle third defender. And what you're going to see is this little pressure right here is going to come in against pretty much any blocking scheme in the game. And as you can see, we've got a five-man blitz in combination with a two-man uh, coverage, coverage defense that is going to be very, very difficult for your opponent to uh, be able to move the ball against. Now, the cool part about this is we could also create kind of some rolling coverages, if you will. So I could I could do some cover three cloud type of stuff, like uh, something like what I'm about to show you right here. So you see here, this is a little bit more of a cover three kind of cloud style uh, of coverage. And then I could have a Mabel on the backside if I wanted to do something like that. And then I'm just going to use her this left of screen flat. So it might look something like this little three-man pressure here uh, and what you'll see is this three-man pressure uh, from this specific formation uh, actually does a pretty decent job at getting some basic shed D, some basic pressure and then you've got great coverage underneath it so this is a way that the 335 odd can be utilized now, obviously in the ebook we teach you a lot more we teach you how to stop the run we teach you some different blitzing concepts as well but utilizing this coverage concept 
in combination with the blitzes that we have from the 3-3-5 odd, I think makes it one of the better defenses in the game. And so if you want to learn this entire defense, or if you're just looking to take your Madden game to the next level, I would really encourage you to join the Patreon membership. By joining the Patreon membership for just $10 a month, you're going to get instant and immediate access to every Madden 22 ebook that I've released so far and every Madden 22 ebook that I will release while your subscription is active. So if you're looking to join the Patreon, head on down to the description right now and click that link that I put down there. It'll take you right over to the membership page and you can get signed up and learn this in exact defense and a lot more um, in no time. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, there is a link to do that in the description.